Maintenance of tools and equipment. General methods of maintenance practices include 1. Cleaning after use. 2. Sharpening the cutting edges when blunt. 3. Tightening loose parts. 4. Application of used engine oil to prevent rusting. 5. Replacing worn-out parts. 6. Repairing damaged parts. 7. Lubricating moving parts to reduce friction. 8. Proper storage. 9. Painting metallic parts. Reasons for maintaining tools and equipment. I. To increase durability. I2. To reduce replacement cost. 3. To increase efficiency. IV. To avoid damage to the tool. V. To avoid injury to the user. Specific maintenance of the tool or equipment secateurs. Cleaning after use oil metallic part to prevent rusting. Sharpening the cutting edge repair broken parts. Spring balance. Oil to prevent rusting lubricate the inner spring. Proper storage tape measure. Proper storage cleaning after use. Wheelbarrow. Tighten loose nuts and bolts. Grease moving parts. Repair broken parts. Cleaning after use. Oil metallic part to prevent rusting. Appropriate storage. Carry correct quantity of load sprinkler. Unblock the nozzles. Repair broken parts. Cleaning after use. Oil metallic part to prevent rusting. Matic. Fix loose handle. Cleaning after use. Oil metallic part to prevent rusting. Appropriate storage. Uses of plumbing tools and equipment. These are the tools and equipment used for wide range of plumbing work, for example, maintenance of pipe system in the farm. Spanners. For tightening and loosening bolts and nuts of different sizes, pipe wrench. For holding, tightening, or loosening metallic pipes and fittings, pipe cutter. For cutting metallic pipes to ease joining of pipes. PVC pipe cutter for cutting PVC pipes. Stock and die for threading pipes. Hacksaw for cutting metallic pipes before threading. Maintenance of plumbing tools and equipment. General methods of maintenance practices include Cleaning after use Sharpening the cutting edges when blunt Tightening loose parts Application of used engine oil to prevent rusting Replacing worn-out parts Repairing damaged parts Lubricating moving parts to reduce friction proper storage Painting metallic parts for long storage Reasons for maintaining plumbing tools and equipment To increase durability to reduce replacement's cost, to increase efficiency, to avoid damage to the tool, to avoid injury to the user. Uses of masonry tools and equipment. These are the tools and equipment used for wide range of masonry work during construction or demolition. Shovel, mixing and scooping concrete or mortar during construction. Spirit level. Used to determine horizontal and vertical straightness of a surface, for example, when laying out stones or bricks. Sledgehammer. Used to crash stones into small pieces, mason's trowel. Used to scoop and apply mortar when laying out bricks and stones. Mortar is a mixture of sand and cement together with water. Wood float. Used for smoothening mortar when plastering walls or floors. Metal slash steel. Float steel float used for spreading screed over floors or walls during plastering. Plumb bob and line. Ascertain verticalness straightness when constructing a tall wall. Leveling rod used with a theodolite to measure distances in the leveling of land. A theodolite is an instrument used by surveyors for measuring angles, functions of stirrup pump parts. 1. Handle. It is the one held when pumping. 2. Air vessel sucking in air to create vacuum. 3. Leg and foot support, stepping on to support the pump while pumping. 4. Barrel. Allow the movement of the piston up and down. 5. Foot and valve strainer suck in and sieve the liquid. 6. Delivery hose delivers the liquid from the gland to the trigger control unit 7. Lance handle held by hand to direct the spray liquid to the target 8. Trigger control opened and closed to control the outlet of the spray liquid. Reasons for maintaining tools and equipment. I. To increase durability. 2. To reduce replacement's cost. I3. To increase efficiency. IV. To avoid damage to the tool. V. To avoid injury to the user. Hi, guys. If this is the first time you've come to my channel, please go down the bottom, hit that subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you can get notified every time I post a brand new video similar to this. Keep watching.